Hello, English as a Second Language 9280, Oxford Board, Writing Paper, Letters. Let's have a look at this question, which we'll analyze in the next page, and let's comment on the student's response. The question said, um, write a letter to a friend, asking them to help you with the voluntary work. Uh, you must write about so in the introduction we agreed that we will get this part from the introduction that um, we are producing a voluntary work this is the introduction well tell my friend the purpose of my writing why I am writing the letter the bullet points must be covered in the body paragraphs Okay, let's see what we should include in the next body paragraphs. Number one, what the voluntary work is. So you'll define him or will tell the candidate, the reader, that or what the voluntary work is, which kind it is, and why you want if to do the voluntary work. The reasons for why you selected this kind of voluntary work to um, take part in. And here, uh, why your friend should help. The third point, point always, is the one which must be extended. Pay attention to that. So, the third bullet point, the one in which you can expand and stretch. Let's see the candidate's response here and comment on each paragraph. The candidate he started by Dear Farah. This is the name of the recipient, your friend. Hey, good. I'm writing to tell you that I'm doing some volunteer work and I need your help. This is the purpose of writing the letter as we agreed. Why you write? But first of all, the beginning of the letter is really tough. He directly went deeply into the point. Already he told him that uh, volunteer work or the purpose of writing this letter is for um, volunteer work. Okay, so this is the introduction. The introduction needs what? The introduction needs um, a way of communication or communicative language communication so how can we know that this letter is friendly and the student didn't show any friendly tone in the introduction then he started his body paragraph here in which he is supposedly to cover cover what bullet point number one so the first bullet point should be covered in this paragraph he already started doing this but is he successful let's see um i decided that i want to make food boxes look at the this expression make food boxes for poor uh, people um, as you see here ideas are not really clear and the level of language is really childish make food boxes for poor people he can use various expression rather than saying milk food for boxes for the poor people and here he said who don't find food this is a redundancy the idea redundancy what we mean by redundancy repetition because he already told us the poor people so logically we know that poor people don't find food so as if the candidate is just stating the obvious and we don't need that <coughs> okay i think this is such an amazing thing to do as they will become happy since they are in a bad need for this look here the first idea ended here 
what is the voluntary work is he told us that the voluntary work is making food boxes for the need people as if the student here is just identified or defined what voluntary work is with no expanding or expansion of ideas as you see here the student didn't explain an idea didn't support any idea and we mentioned that idea should be developed so there is no development of ideas he didn't explain what kind of um, boxes is helpful to people how this kind of volunteer work is beneficial to this kind or this uh, category of people um, logically each idea must be in a single paragraph so pay attention to uh, paragraphing here the student didn't follow the paragraphing paragraphing what paragraphing is it means that you should specify a single paragraph for each idea so logically the student must skip a line or start here for paragraph two um, bullet point two asked you to do what here is bullet point two why you want to do the voluntary work so in this part he is explaining reasons for why he chose this kind of volunteer work he said here i think this such an amazing thing to do why he said as they will be came and this is or this is become yeah they will become happy since they are in a bad need for this by the way the idea is somehow developed by saying uh, this is an amazing amazing thing to do and he used as a complex sentence here by saying they'll become happy since they are need a uh, bad need for this let's again and again comment on the vocabulary there is no variety of vocabulary he said again here uh, supposedly idea should be ended here so no paragraphing it means there was no clarity as ideas are not clear and dividing ideas in separate paragraphs is a kind of clarity and ideas are just mixed as if they are one unit the student here jumped into bullet point three by saying um, why you want your friend to do this voluntary work with you I want you to help me with this oh really silly sentence because as you know it's a little bit hard but I'm sure we will be chuffed to bits good idiom um, but as you see here um, he told his friend that he wanted him to help him why because he told him that it's a little bit hard uh-huh is this a logical reason is this a strong way to persuade your friend to participate in this kind of work should no definitely no it's a really weak reason uh, you want your friend here to help you just because the work is hard um terrible so um, the reason here is really weak and it's not convincing not convincing so we can say again idea here is not well developed ideas are not well developed then finally he told him don't forget to write me back and tell me your opinion and I'll be over the moon if you agreed again the student used he and uh, idioms so I um, uh, somehow um, a bit showing uh, informal register but as you see cheers and uh, your name Heidi um, again let's see the overall comment on this answer 
um, four marks for uh, out of six for language. Language is really weak. And four marks out of six for the content. No clarity. Ideas are not developed. Um, no variety of sentence structures. Uh, uh, sentence are not linked really very well uh, or effectively using the linking words. Um, let's see the overall comment, by the way. Number one, he said, there is coverage of key points and the student already wrote about the key points because already we already uh, found each uh, bullet point is uh, written but not well or effectively covered. Content and communication. Ah, oh, here is the point. Regarding to content and, uh, and communication, there is a delay in content and communication what we mean by delay we mean that ideas are not very well covered and not very well clear and not developed so there is delay in communication why because already there is grammatical errors and there is as well clarity errors uh, the spelling is accurate okay because um, spelling is evaluated and this is um, one specification of clarity here there is some success with a variety of vocabulary but it's tell weak vocabulary is tell weak and grammatical structures used we said he developed one only one paragraph using the grammatical structures using the complex sentence uh, let's see the comment on the language. The language used is really simple. As we said, it's already childish. Childish. Um, uh, let's say even it's silly level of language. Uh, we mean here it's not advanced. And punctuation is not as well accurate in the degree it's required. Let's see how students get the full mark in the next video and how they avoided these mistakes and also we're gonna explain and analyze the overall comment of examiners on this response for another candidate. See you and goodbye.